Hi, it's Rochelle here, the Green Food Safety Coach. So what is scromboid? First of all, typical symptoms, just like with a, a, a allergic reaction. And they would include things like tingling or burning in the mouth, rashes. They would include flushes. They might include fevers, uh, vomiting, nausea, uh, palpitations. Typical treatment, uh, if somebody has this, you may not actually need treatment, depending upon the individual. And in people who are extremely sensitive, they're going to probably need antihistamine. Okay, onset, in other words, how long it takes until we, the symptoms show. It can take a couple of minutes, depending upon the individual, all the way up to several hours. Duration, how long does it actually, the symptoms uh, continue for? Several hours, up to several days. Once again, entirely depending upon the individual and how sensitive they are to histamines. That's what the problem here is. And the histamines are produced when certain types of fish, for example tuna, mackerel, maybe marlin, are actually temperature abused. So when the fish has been caught, if the temperature isn't maintained below 5 degrees C or 41 degrees Fahrenheit, then the bacteria that's in that fish can actually convert the, the meat inside that fish into histamines and that's what causes the allergic reaction type symptoms. So why is this a food poisoning? Well it's a food obviously but it's all about temperature abuse. So if you keep the, the, if the food, in this case the fish, is kept below that magic 5 degrees C mark or 41 degrees F then the chance of uh, scromboid food poisoning occurring is very very low. Here is an unfortunate thing though Cooking will not destroy it. Cooking does not get rid of the, ant the histamines. It will, in fact, still be there because we're not killing the bacteria. We, we might kill the bacteria that's producing the histamines. However, we will not be killing the histamines themselves. And therefore, cooked fish, if the fish has already been temperature abused and the histamines have been produced, cooking it will not eliminate the problem. Now, how do you control or how do you prevent this from happening to you? First, always buy from a reputable supplier. Always, always make sure that when you're buying it, the fish is cold. You can tell that by simply touching it or touching the, the glass display. Make sure it is cold. Another thing, look for to make sure that the fish is good quality. If it smells bad, it's bad. If, and not all fish are going to smell bad if, they've had, if they have histamine issues going on, so you can't use that as a guarantee. But if it smells bad, it's bad. If the eyes are not clear, don't go near it. And the other thing is if the meat or the flesh within the fish appears to have a honeycomb type texture, don't buy it. Okay, my name's Rochelle. I'm the Green Food Safety Coach. Till next time. So, as I said, I'm Rochelle. I'm the Green Food Safety Coach. If you want more information or you'd like to ask a question, go here to my Facebook page, the Green Food Safety Coach. Leave a message, leave a question, leave a, a anything and I will get back to you just as soon as I can. And if you would like a free ebook about many, many, many foodie, <laughs> foodie facts, food safety, environmental, a whole variety of foodie facts, go here to www.500foodfacts.com. Download it and, uh, and enjoy it and amaze your friends and family. All right, I'm Rochelle. I'm the Green Food Safety Coach. Till next time.